Hello, this is Bo Bennett, the creator of the Free Toast Host platform. Welcome to the new Free Toast Host 2.0 platform. Most of you have noticed already that the website is significantly different than the first one. It is a complete and total rebuild of the first Free Toast Host platform. I actually created that back in 2003. It was a long time ago in internet years. So it was time for a complete rebuild. A lot of things have changed. Much new, fresh look that takes advantage of the capabilities of today's modern web browsers. So it's it's a really a great update, something that was long overdue, and I'm glad that Toastmasters rebranding has kind of forced this necessity of the free Toast Toast update. What I'm going to do is go through the user's guide to give everybody kind of an overview of how the Free Toast Host platform, the new Free Toast Host 2.0 platform works. And this is specifically geared toward the user of Free Toast Host. So it could be the club member, or it could even be the, the Toastmaster who has some edit access to the agendas, or it could even be the club officer who has some additional access to the website. So we'll be going over all that in this video tutorial. So let's start out with the domain name, accessing your website. There are primarily three different ways to access your website. Initially, your website is set up using the club number. For this example tutorial, I'm using our home website, uh, the Renaissance Advanced Toastmasters, and our club number is 5954. So we use 5954.toastmastersclubs.org. Please notice the Toastmasters clubs, plural, two S's. Toastmasters is plural and clubs is plural. If you try the other way around, if you try to make them singular, you're not going to get to your website. It's toastmastersclubs.org. And if you try some other extension besides org, again, you're not going to get to your website. So toastmastersclubs.org. Now, once the club is set up, the administrator can assign an alias to your URL, to your website. For ours, it's advanced.toastmastersclubs.org. Now notice this will pull up the website as well. They both will continue to work. But generally, if you assign an alias to make it easier to get to your website, then you're not going to want to use the old URL. You're just going to want to forget about that. But it's always there if you need it, if you forget about it. Now beyond that, you could also have your own custom domain name, which we do have for our club. It is renaissancetm.org. And I strongly suggest that all club websites have their own domain name. I suggest this because it's just a lot easier. It's easier for people to remember and it, it tends to do better in the search engines in terms of recognition and people finding you. Plus the email addresses are easier. There's a whole lot of reasons why you would want your own domain name. And it's not very expensive. Pretty much anywhere these days you can get your own domain name for under $20 a year. So it's not that expensive for the club to pay for. So that is how you would access your website. Let's talk about navigation. Navigation is basically how you get around your website. The navigation in the Free Toast Host 2.0 is very simple, very easy. The navigation is simply in the left hand side of the web page. These are the main menus and these are the sub menus underneath with the links contained within. Now there are no links on the top menu. There's no top menu. There's no links in a bottom menu. It's just on the left hand side. So if you're looking to get to different pages or you're looking for resources, this is where you will look. Now you will notice that there are two different main categories, main categories of links. One is the main menu, the other one is the members only. The main menu, as it suggests, is some of the main links where anybody can access, the public can access, members can access, the administrator can access. These links will appear under the main menu. The members only are, as the name suggests, links for members only. Now, I am not logged in at the moment, so if I try to click on these links, I am not going to get anywhere. These are not links at this point. The only link is the support, the member login, and the login as site administrator. But otherwise, these links are disabled. 
Now over here, these are called different panes. And if you click on one of the panes, it will open up to give you some more information. This is a great way to fit a lot of content into a small area.